showing you how I made an 80s sounding beat using only synths from Arturius V Collection 9. They were kind enough to provide me with a license to their V Collection 9 and man is it full of amazing instruments. I was already using a couple of their synths from the V Collection 6 that I got a couple of years ago, but from version 6 to version 9 they've added all sorts of great stuff and it's a really great value. And I will do a separate review for the V Collection but first let me show you what instruments I used for the beat. First I used the legendary brass preset from the Prophet 5V and the Prophet 5V is new to the V Collection 9, it's a massive improvement over their previous emulation of the Prophet, this one sounds much fatter and much more convincing, so here's the sound that I used. Also used some strings from the augmented strings, another new addition to the V collection. When it comes to bass lines, you can't beat the Moog sound. So I used the Mini V for that. This is not new from the V Collection 9, but it's a classic. One of my favorite new additions to the V Collection 9 is Augmented Voices. It's a sampled slash synth instrument that has a very nice vocal quality to all the patches that they have inside. For the lead part I used OPXA which emulates the classic Oberheim synth from the 80s, a very fat and aggressive sounding synth. In this case I just used this very nice lead preset called Bubblegum Lead. Very full of resonance, very sharp sounding, cuts through the mix in a really nice manner. And I also added a bit of a vocoded vocal from Vocoder V. I was surprised by how good this vocoder sounds and how easy it is to understand your words after they are vocoded by this plugin. Amazing quality. <laughs> And also for the drums and percussion, I used a drum kit from the Native Instruments Neo Boogie expansion. I used it inside of Battery 4. And these drums are really nice for these classic 80s vibes. Oh, and by the way, I will put an affiliate link to the V Collection 9 from Plugin Boutique. If you want to check it out, I will receive a small commission if you buy it through that link. I think it's very much worth it. It's got 32 synths in this collection. Even if you don't use all of them, it's a really great value. Or maybe upgrading from an older version that you have is also an incredible value. So make sure to check that out from the description down below. So let's go on with the beat making part now. Here's me recording the part A. track is in E minor and the chords that I used are the E minor 9, A minor 7, G major 9 and C major 7. Okay, on to the B section now.
By the way, just a quick interruption to let you know that I got a new sample pack. It's called The Heat. You can check it out from the link down in the description of the video. Buying the pack is a great way to support the channel, but also another way to do it without spending any money is to just give the video a thumbs up, comment down below if you're enjoying the beat, and let's get on with the beat making. And for the B section I used a downwards chord progression, C major 7, B minor 9, A minor 7, and at the end E minor 9, holding it for the rest of the 4 bar sequence. And so I first recorded the lead part for the B section. So there's this simple lead part that I recorded for the A section. Okay, so here's the part with the vocoder, really had a lot of fun with this one. Okay, so let's listen to the mixed, mastered and arranged version of the beat. I didn't really do too much in terms of effects processing and I mostly used the effects inside the actual synths from the Vic collection. They sound pretty decent. So let's hear the finished beat. <laughs> So that was all for this video. Thank you and bye bye.